All right, this is break room, six inch clean out access. There's the tie in, um, everything in the building. horizontal goes to PVC after a few feet see from here to the blue the main hole if I remember correctly I don't believe this section has had an issue since the little belly there I don't believe this one has had an issue since the rung was removed it's been under four every time I believe before the rung was removed, that was the issue quite a few times. But once the rung was removed, it's been an issue this way ever. And with a five foot drop here, you're less likely to have an issue. Inside here, there's a lot of rung. You can see the sides are tapered up there. The big gap that's inside a manhole. Shot straight through the manhole across. Someone lose a ring? It was on the, that was on the floor.
something with. I'm going to need up more than I like. picture on the bottom but on the sides you can see it's not quite aligned when I come up to it I come to a dead stop right there and I have to really give her a bounce then I'm coming out of the water until I pull back and I drop right there I see you can see it on the sides a little bit, and you can also tell by the amount of water standing that that's part of it. Find out if you move it to the middle, it makes it worse. It makes it worse. A lot of times the water goes yeah, down, creates yeah. cavitation right there, and it blocks it, and then all of a sudden it can't keep up. Yeah. It actually makes it worse. That's why I had it to the side. A lot of drains will do that. If you put it right in the middle, it actually makes it drain slower. A lot of times it stirs it all up and introduces air, and then it fights, and then it actually starts draining slower. That's why you'll see Mike and I put our hands over the bathtub spouts so they're not dumping on the drain to see how fast it's actually draining without all that air being introduced and slow them down. Just about done here. 
This will be done in a couple of minutes, just trying to get a clear video of the pipe out here. It's starting to clear up. You don't, no, don't turn it off. It's going to say it's starting to. Thank you. Start. No, don't, don't change it. Keep her flowing. You see the lip right there where she's not quite aligned. I was hoping to get a little bit clearer, but you can see it right there. It's not a huge lip by any means. I just wanted a clearer picture of it. It takes a minute for all that water to get out there anyway, so it probably still flow long enough, even if you did turn it off. But I was trying to get as clear a picture as I could of it. See the lip right there. Got a little bit of a lip because it's Right yeah, that, that's the lip I'm hitting. I'm jumping. I'm separated this a little or something. Just to be burnt toward there, I can't tell. Yeah, that's where I have to try to hop. I really had to get a running jump to get over. I'm over it right now. I'm going to pull back. Pull back a little bit. It's a little bit there and a little belly, but ultimately that I don't believe has caused any issues. Just something I wanted to document while we were here. You can see how high it's riding in that section because of a little bit of a belly. Alright, you turn the water off. See if you can get it back on there again. What? So if you can get the thing back on there, go for it. <laughs> kind of, that one's a little bit harder than the average one, but. Going back through the manhole. There it is. Wind it up. Other than a small offset at the outlet of the manhole. A couple feet in. There's no defects found in this one. Backwards. Coming up the vertical. 